Civil War Digital Digest. I'm your host Jeremy for this episode where we're here with Jackie Jacobs and we're going to talk about women's rappers. It's a pretty big topic but as we often try to do we're going to boil it down and take a look at a couple of really good examples of original garments. Jackie, when I hear the term rapper, what I immediately think of or picture is what's to our left here, and we've looked at that one before um, in another episode, but I know obviously there's a wide range of rappers. So yes. Kind of tell us a little bit of, you know, what's a rapper? Well, a wrapper would be a garment that would be one piece from the shoulder to the floor, and it can either be a skirt attached to a bodice that's open, uh, the, or the skirt is open, or mm -hmm. the... Uh, full all the way down uh, with buttons at the bottom. And then this one is a utility type wrapper, which would be used for traveling. Uh, and the reason I know that is it's a sturdier fabric than what these two are. So it's meant to be out so that you can be getting on board trains or omnibuses or things like that and have the confidence that you're not going to ruin a garment. Okay. So there's a big contrast between that one there, which is a little more utility type, and then what we have on the table here. Yes. The purple one that we have is a little more, uh, it's a little more formal wrapper. It has uh, a lot of different uh, characteristics to it. It does open all the way down the front and it has buttons that you can use. The buttons here are a button on one side and two buttons here with the button holes in the silk. And I found that as an unusual placement of buttons. It also would be a little bit more formal wrapper where you, would, you could wear this to have a company come over for tea or for sewing or that you know different types of things like that. Okay. So you talk about it's you might have it on for a company or it's open all the way down the front so what would you be wearing underneath your wrapper? You would have completely dressed in the morning um, with your chemise, your drawers, your corset, your petticoats, your hoops, your over petticoats, fancy over petticoats okay. down the front. <laughs> Um, as the robe de chambre, you could at that point put a robe de chambre on. This one is a very nice one because it's done in silk brocade with a silk taffeta trim. So that term you just used, could you provide us a oh, little it, more detail on that? It's a little French. Yeah. <laughs> robe de chambre, robe for the chamber. Okay, that makes sense. So this one um, has a beautiful satin or a silk taffeta lining on the inside so that if it had opened up you could have seen the beautiful lining and then the nice petticoat underneath. And this would have been a garment that they could put on um, to go down for breakfast with the family or even have breakfast in their chamber um, and you might have received lady friends in your chamber wearing this type of gown. Now this one has a couple of different details that you mentioned where maybe it's evolved with time? It has. Um, as fashions change, older ladies or matrons um, sometimes didn't get new clothing as often as the younger children in the household might have. So in order to update a garment so that it was more fashionable, they would do slight changes to the garments. And one of the things with this particular dress is that they turned the top neckline collar down to create a V-neck and put a little chemisette in there. Okay, well, I definitely see why she would want to continue to use this. It's a beautiful piece and very nice materials. And Jack, and we've looked at this one before in a previous episode which if you check our comments area, you'll be able to find a link to be able to go out and view that episode as well and see some more detail of the, the wrapper on our far left. But when we looked at that one, there was a pocket um, of another scrap of fabric. So is pockets found in these other wrappers that are fancier? I have found <clears throat> in most of the wrappers that I've looked at, they do have a pocket, sometimes two pockets. Um, the green one has a pocket on the right-hand side 
This garment had a pocket. You can see it has the pocket flap right mm -hmm. here. And when we turn it to the inside, we see that there was a pocket that was attached that somebody cut out. Interesting. So evidently, when she put items in her pocket, she didn't like the way it left lumps or bumps on her dress. So rather than using it as a pocket, she just stitched it up and cut the pocket out. So I could see that perhaps, yeah, she put so much work into a dress and the nice material she wanted to lay a certain way and maybe it's why yes. she removed the pocket. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Jackie, again for sharing your knowledge and your collection with us. You're welcome. And thank you for watching this episode of the Civil War Digital Digest. We hope you learned a little bit of the what and the why of a woman's wrapper today. And if you like this episode, please hit that like button and share it out to your friends. Mm -hmm.